and let's do some crack. Hi guys, welcome back to Two Fox on Cat recipe and today we're gonna do really easy recipe and perfect for a rainy Sunday. It's crepe! Everybody loves crepe! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're gonna do crepe and today we're gonna do lactose-free crepe. Uh, Charlotte and I were not drinking much milk, so it's gonna be coconut milk and rice milk. So let's go! Okay, so super easy. First, you're gonna need 200 grams of flour. And then you're gonna need two eggs. I'm gonna crack those here. And to those guys, we're gonna add two teaspoons of sugar. That's for having a nice color when you're gonna cook it. You need two pinch of salt, a bit of cinnamon. You don't have to, but I like it in my crepe. And some vanilla. Better use real vanilla than some sugar vanilla or extract or aroma. And I already showed how to do in another video, but I show you again you. So vanilla, you get half, but you don't go through the whole way. Then you can open it. And then you put your blade in and you spread it. Okay, and this one, you can put it back in your sugar if you want to give a little vanilla taste to your sugar. Oh, your Super vodka. nice. Oh, your vodka. Okay, mix that. And put it inside. Bam. And now really easy. We had 200 grams of flour and now we're gonna put the double amount of milk. So first you can give a little mix with the egg so when you add up the milk, it's not gonna be too lumpy because if you start with only flour, it's gonna get too lumpy. I'm gonna add up only half of my milk right now. So 100 and 100, because I'm using two milk, but do whatever you like. Now you can go slowly. Okay, and going like so, you can see no lumpiness. I just put half of my milk first and absolutely no lumpiness. So now, rest of the milk, 100 and 100, which makes now 400 milliliters. I'm gonna add up some vegetal, vegetable oil. <laughs> vegetable oil. In the traditional recipe, you put butter, but today we do lactose free. So about 30 grams of oil. And then the secret to make really good crepe, good rum. You need to have rum in your crepe. That's a must. And you put about three to five centiliter, depending on how much you like rum. And that's very good rum, rum from my brother. Go check it out. Okay, give the last little mix to that guy. Okay, moving on. So our mix is ready. It doesn't need to rest. You can get yourself a crepier. That's a special pan for crepe. If you don't, just use your normal pan. But And from now, you just need a little piece of kitchen towel. You're just gonna use this same one with a bit of vegetable oil to make it really not sticky. Okay, <coughs> and let's do some crepe. And now from here, no surprise, I guess you guys all made crepe or you've seen people make crepe, no magic. You just get your pan hot, put it in there. And beautiful, give a little shake. So in France, we say first crepe will always be bad. <laughs> That's like this. It needs the time to adjust the heat of your pan. It's just a tradition. We say the first crepe is bad. So don't worry if you're like freaking out and your first crepe is not looking great or anything, it's normal. First crepe is always bad. So the time of cooking, you can see on the sides, it's always gonna be a bit thinner and it's gonna start to color. You can see here it starts to color and to get a bit drier, you can see. From here, either you flip the crepe with your hands or with a spatula, or you go crazy and do a little crepe flip. Crepe flip. Uh, you can see, so the sugar makes this effect to have nice little coloring. If you have a, a crepier, the metal is a bit thinner, so the cooking is really fast. Get a crepier for that, it's so much easier. And ready. So from the first crepe you made, if you feel like your dough is a bit, your mix is a bit too thick, you can add up some water really slowly to see the texture. When you pour, sometimes it's better to leave it in the middle and just to try to go around rather than giving too much movement to the, to the sides first. You can see it's a bit more regular.
Okay, so on to the last crepe now. For this recipe, it makes between 10 and 12 crepes. We are actually on number 11 right now. Let's do this last crepe. It's the fatty, it's the last one. It's not enough for two and it's too much for one. And guys, if you haven't subscribed yet, so I'm gonna flip that crepe and if I succeed, you gotta subscribe. <laughs> okay, that's the flip of the subscribe. That's a lot of stress right now. <laughs> Oh, you gotta subscribe! <laughs> okay, last flip just to show off. Check. Okay, those that's, that's 11 crepes in front of us. That's good for two very hungry people. Now we're gonna eat it with a traditional one, lemon and sugar, and then you can use uh, honey, or you can use nice uh, Nutella. This one is actually hazelnut, praline. Put whatever you like, you can do a chantilly. There's the link here of how to make, here, here, here. The link of the best chantilly you can make very fast. Yeah, so here we go. Very easy lactose-free recipe for crepe. And look how thin and beautiful they are. Mm. Super thin and nice texture, a bit bouncy, very nice. So that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the recipe. Uh, we see you next week for another one. Leave a like. Drop a comment and we we'll see you next week. Bye guys. Mm. Yeah, can I have some room please? Oh, chips. Okay guys, last message. Mm. I should not talk with my mouth full. Mm. Last message guys, please do not use Nutella. Don't buy Nutella, don't use Nutella. Boycott Nutella, please. It's a bad company. They are doing bad stuff to our beloved nature. And doing bad stuff in your body. And to our Body. bodies. This stuff is full of crap, but not those crap, like real crap. <laughs> <laughs> Instead, you can use or buy something that is from Italy that's called Nocciolata. And the best one is the vegan one. We are not vegan, but really it's the best. Get Nocciolata vegan one. This stuff is the bomb and it's good for you. It's not full of bad products as Nutella is. There's so, still a lot of sugar there. So that's my last message. Please boycott Nutella.